So in this video we're just going to have a look at how to take the dash off because uh, I want to get all the uh, material out from here and at the back um, so I can remove these uh, fresh air vents because uh, sometimes you find there's quite a lot of rust around them particularly on this side, the driver's side. So the first thing you need to do to get this off is to pull all that off on one side. There you go. And you should be able to wiggle that out of the way. So once you've got that bezel off, that frees up this end of the uh, cardboard. But to get the other end off, we're just going to need to uh, take this bezel off here. So if you unscrew that, you should be able to pull off some of the back bit. Come on. There we go. So to get this vent off, you have to push down a little clip at the back there. I don't know if the camera is picking this up. And once you've pushed it down, you can then turn the vent anti-clockwise. Okay, so that's that vent out of the way. And we're free at the other end, so we can now take that cardboard out of the way. Okay, so that's the uh, black cardboard trim out of the way. I had to uh, pull the seal off the door because it was uh, looped or lipped over that. And you start to see, potentially, more horrors. And I think the driver's side is always worse on these cars. So I'll just take away this uh, insulation and have a look what horrors await. Okay, it looks a bit rough, but uh, not too bad. My only fear is if uh, this side is looking like this, what's the other side going to look like? Okay, so I've taken the uh, air vent, uh, and just for reference, the clip for the air vent was actually at the bottom, because they're identical left to right. Um, and as expected, it is worse. So there is quite a lot of rust, all the way back here, all the way down there, and up in this corner here. So I'll probably have to look at patching that, I don't really want to do a full-on repair there. So yeah, that's a job to add to the list. So to actually get the dials off, we need to uh, undo the two screws, either side, one down there, and one on the other side. Uh, that is actually 5 sixteenths. So uh, you'll work out fairly quickly that everything on a Mini is Imperial. So you really do need Imperial spanners and sockets. So we'll undo them, and then we should be able to pull it away far enough to get the uh, speedo drive off and the connector off. So that's the speedo drive off, and now we just need to uh, disconnect that plug. And these actually, um, this blue circuit uh, on the back is actually quite fragile, so you want to be careful you don't damage that. So that's the end of this video. I hope it's been of some use to you. It just goes to show what is hidden behind the dash. So if you've liked it, please leave comments and subscribe, and uh, check out some of the other videos that are coming up soon. Thank you for watching.